I just ordered a pizza and, uh, and asked for <laughs> extra cheese. Yes. And instead of putting extra cheese on the pizza, there was this, there was this paper bag with the pizza. I was like, oh, cool. What's this? And don't worry, it wasn't just full of, like, cheese. Don't worry. It wasn't, it wasn't full, cheesy bread. Either. It wasn't just full of shredded cheese. But I, I asked for extra cheese on this on this pizza, and opened this bag, just a single slice of cheese pizza. <laughs> and God I'm not bless sh- that And I'm not sure how I feel about this. God bless the man that brought you that, though. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> if you guys don't think that's fucking funny... What is wrong with you? Anyway, uh, I'm Mark Tomato. <laughs> and uh, eating seeds is a pastime activity for me. Because uh, we're going to be going into the toxicity. Yep, we have... The it's another Mind Breakers, and we have... Well... Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we did Toxic Avenger, and uh, we finished up a series last week. Yes, indeed. A lot That's of episodes this... Uh, this a done. lot of episodes this chunk are sequels. Yeah. And today we're doing Gotta get them out of the way, man. Toxic Avenger Part Two. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the 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 sequel to the to the wonderful Toxic Avenger. Toxic from nineteen eighty nine. Does it have a doesn't have a subtitle? Huh? It's just Part Two. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. The Toxic Avenger is tricked. Oh my god! What? The Toxic Avenger is tricked into traveling to Tokyo. Oh, really? To search for his estranged father, leaving Trumbaville open to complete domination by an evil corporation. <laughs> Good God. Well, it has to be a corporation, right? Fucking mm. Lex Luthor has to swoop in and fucking try to take over all of Metropolis when Superman's now, gone. No, I was, I, I, I told my manager, well, not my manager, my supervisor, uh-huh. that I'd be oh. watching this. Okay. And he actually was like, talk to Avenger, wait, you mean the, the ugly guy with the big guy with the mop? He's yeah. like, yes. Yeah, I can't believe I know what that movie is. <laughs> and he's, but he's never watched it. No, though. he's watched it. Oh, okay, he's watched it. <laughs> like, that that's not, that's something that you should be kind of proud that you've actually watched. Like, I feel like if I would have watched this earlier, I'd be more mm. proud of it. Like, it's it's a good film. Like, at least the first one was. Yeah, I, I watched the first one before movie. I had this as, as, as a show. Yeah, but I enjoyed the last yeah, one. Yeah, it was good. I had a lot of fun watching that. I mean, I don't know if it's good or if we just watched some such... Such, Such horrible that garbage <laughs> that anything entertaining <laughs> becomes great. Mildly but... even. But no, the last one was actually legitimately, like, I give that, like, cinematic merit. Like, it has, like, I'm going to give credit where credit is due when that is due for credit. Hmm. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking at some of these things you're scrolling through and something's called the, the Talks Box? Uh, yeah, I think that's like the... Um, what? It's all four movies. Oh really? Mm. That's cool. Uh, the seven disc set is uh, also has the Toxic Crusaders, I presume. Is that like a spinoff? You don't know the Toxic Crusaders? No, I don't know. About the Toxic kids' Crusaders. cartoon from the nineties, inexplicably based. Oh god, on Toxic... that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh fuck! All right. <laughs> anyway, Toxic Avenger in Tokyo. Yay! Toxic Avenger trouble in Tokyo. Chin chin, motherfuckers! How does Toxie like his noodles? Um, extra waste. Tox- extra MSG, actually. Toxic, That's how he likes it. <laughs> to- the Toxic Avenger is going to go head-to-head with yeah. the legendary Brashogun. Brashogun? Brashogun. Is he going to use the wrist and gun on somebody? Dude, Teen Titans, uh, Trouble in Tokyo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't seen that one for a long fucking time. There needs to be an anime of Toxic Avenger. Yep. Let's go watch this. Konichiwa, bitches. He was the first superhero from New Jersey. He came to Tromaville and single-handedly wiped out crime, corruption, and chemical waste. The name's Avenger. The Toxic Avenger. <laughs> How are you? Holy shit! But this time, there's trouble not just in Tromaville, Messy, messy, messy. But also in Tokyo. (laughs) 
And there's only one brave soul who can stop the forces of evil. Mel, I am history. <laughs> there's only one hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength, and he's back. Don't worry, sir. I'm the Toxic Avenger. He's a fighter. <laughs> he's a thinker. <laughs> He's a lover. <laughs> and when he returns, criminals won't have a leg I... to stand on. <laughs> People will be dancing in the streets in The Toxic Avenger Part 2. No, Broro. The wildest, most off the wall action movie since. since. I... The Toxic Avenger Part 1. <laughs> He's coming soon. <laughs> the Toxic Avenger, Part 2. I can't believe it! Nani? Nandeska? Kimo wa boka no des. This was. This movie was a goddamn whack fest. It <laughs> was in indeed. Way. I have no idea exactly what happened, but I know what happened. Kimo wa. Very, very bizarre. The strangest of adventures. But uh, it, it was cool. I enjoyed it. I had much of the fun with this. Uh, more, more whacked out, wondrous. Just like spontaneous um, enjoyment out of out of the series, honestly. I'm hoping that the next ones are exactly like this. Oh, I'm sure they will be. Like, I hope they're this level. The other one wasn't up to this level per se, but it was close. Like, it was uh, it was very close to this. Honestly, it was uh, it was it was more of the good stuff from the last one. Honestly, yeah. They were just like they they upped the ante. I feel with this one. And uh, it really was like it. It has its own, it has its own feel now. Yeah, it's really like come into its own. And like I, I just I hope they keep up this head of steam, honestly, because like uh, so far, like I enjoyed, I have enjoyed like both movies. They're both fantastic. But um, we mostly just start off this one with just like recap and like status update. Yeah. It was like just okay. We're we're living in the dump still. Um, all of uh, all of Troma Tromaville is basically like happy go lucky. They're all fucking dancing in their streets, dancing in the street. Yeah, hugging their Naki Makaras. <laughs> we're not in Japan yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> they're all they're all just enjoying themselves, just like loving life, you know. There's no criminals anymore. They they don't have to worry about fucking skate rapes happening anymore in town. I kind of want a hobo a sh hobo with a shotgun toxic avenger crossover, crossover, but I'm sure I've said that already. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we mentioned that in the last one. This this one though, like I feel like should really like should really have gotten that sort of like mm. same level of like uh, I guess I don't know like grittiness. I don't know. They all have like a very grindhouse feel. Yeah. But uh, I I feel like it would uh, it would really benefit from like a crossover with some sort of franchise. Hobo with a shotgun would probably be the best choice for it. Definitely. Yeah. Like uh, especially because like Hobo with a shotgun has a more modern tone to it, mm. and these ones are very much like just straight up eighties. It's like it's just eighties like cheese exploitation. But, like, in the best kind of fucking way. I don't want it to lose that, but at the same time, I feel like it needs a more modern take. Um, I know who I'd want to play Toxic Avenger in a more modern one. Who would play Toxic? Ray Park. Ray Park? Yeah. Yeah, that would be a pretty good one. That would be a good Except choice. Except for his height. He, well, yeah, they would have to get somebody, like, big. Maybe he would, like, I don't know, maybe he'd voice it? Well, no, okay. so, I don't... When you... I want Ray Park because he's the master of the bow staff. Right, <laughs> but like at the same time, like you want you want like a good voice for him and stuff. Also, 
Yeah. And like, yeah, I guess Ray would be an okay voice. It wouldn't be that bad. Uh, but like, yeah, it would definitely need like a bit more of an update for nowadays. Like people, people watching this like would still enjoy it. <laughs> mm. But like, if we were like updating it, it would definitely need like more, you know, like more modernish stuff. It would need to be d- even darker. Yeah, Tommy Wiseau needs to be in it with a Kano mask and like slashing people up with a katana. No, no, he doesn't. And screaming bloody murder all over the fucking place. There was a lot of screaming in this movie. Holy fuck, are there just people screaming all over the place? There is. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, the whole the whole opening narration is just literally just them being fucking happy-go-lucky and uh, him talking about, like, helping out at the blind home. Mm. Like, the, the, the fucking, the, the, the re- retreat for the blind or something, whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah. Uh, and his girlfriend lives there. Um, until an evil car with evil men in evil clothes with an evil wife with an evil man dog. You get the picture. Yeah. They, they show up and, uh, they drop off a bomb. Uh, one guy dressed, uh, dressed as a postman who drops off a bomb. He doesn't even need to be dressed as a postman because they're all blind. Yeah. It's, like, I don't understand their, uh, <laughs> their logic is slightly flawed. <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird plan they have. Yeah, but he drops off a bomb, and it's going tick, tick, tickety. Yep. And uh, the, the, the the girlfriend leaves the bomb inside. Uh, because she's apparently... the People who make these movies don't realize blind does not, in fact, mean stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of stupids in general, though, in this movie. Oh, I feel so like the many. people with sight are stupider than the blind ones. Also very true. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the people that have no disability have the biggest disability, which is stupid. <laughs> well, the only smart the yeah. only the only smart person is really um uh Toxy. And even then, yeah. not so much. I I feel like I feel like he's the goodest boy. Mm. He's just like he's he's a goody two shoes. Like his mommy loves him and like Yeah, he he's has his goodness. life very together. Yeah. So like he doesn't, he doesn't make any really big mistakes. Mm. Uh, it's just kind of just like, hey, let's follow him along, and like just you know like uh, live live through him by proxy, mm. and like sort of just witness this whacked out fucking stupid world, and like see how shitty people can be in this. In very this land. Sh- very shitty. Yeah. And uh, also, here's some superpowers, because fucking sometimes we need to just be able to, like, live vicariously through the hero. Mm. Because the hero has to lay down the law. Especially Toxie. But, uh, yeah, he he very much is a hobo with a shotgun. Like, he always has been. But, like, he's he's a good good hero. I, I still really like him in this one. He... He was more hero-esque in the first one, but he does a lot of heroics in this one too, because of course he like saves a bunch of people in this one also. But he does, I feel, more saving in the first one. And this one he's going around just killing gangsters. Like, very much hobo-esque. Mm. But, um, yeah. So the company that shows up in the evil car is known as Apocalypse Incorporated. Yes, they are led by Xanatos. Evil, evil man in evil clothes looks like the discount Tim Curry. <laughs> Again. Always discount Tim Curry. Yeah, dollar store Tim Curry's. They just they were giving them out in the eighties, I assume. Uh they basically they blow up the blind home. Uh somehow the blind baby that was outside on the fucking front lawn wasn't blown up. Huh. Who the fuck knows how? But uh they it was spared. I guess convenience. And, uh, and empathy? Yeah. The director had empathy for this blind child, but apparently other kids getting fucking branded into their foreheads. Yeah, that was later when they finally took over. Yeah, (laughs) but still. Like, it gets dire when, like, they finally start taking over the place and branding kids' foreheads. Mm. But the blind baby right at the beginning getting blown up. No, that's not gonna militarize Toxie in the slightest. It's like, no, the baby just gets blown into a fucking tree and then brought back to his mom, who is apparently also still alive. 
Yeah, everyone's still alive. It's like, the fuck? It's like, everybody was in the fucking building! <laughs> Anyhow. Um, a whole bunch of fucking clown car goons start coming out of this fucking limo. And this is just progressively stranger. <laughs> yeah, there's like a fucking clansman, there's a transvestite, there's a fucking there's black There's always a transvestite, midget, there's yeah. A black the black midget's the best. Black dude with nunchucks was my favorite. Yeah, and, and how right? he does the... Yeah, how, how, how he escapes. Yeah, he gets out of there, and we never see him again. I like the one who gets his head ripped off and then dances cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, both of those guys. Yeah, but one dance is much cooler than the other. <laughs> yeah, there was one, like, doing a fucking Charleston. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking, uh, like, fucking, uh, what is it, like, um, what's the frog with the top hat and the cane? In, uh, uh, he, yeah, the, the dancing frog. He doesn't have a name. He's just the dancing He's frog. Just the dancing frog. He's dancing frogging around, fucking doodly 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 do. Doodly 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 do. <laughs> and um, there's another one. He was doing like a, some sort of fucking dance, also. But like, anyhow, uh, he fights all of them. Toxie fucking gets his mop and everything. I like how the building blew up around Toxie, and the first thing that shows up is his mop. Yeah, his mop pops out of the ground. It's the best. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he like he, he pops up, he's got the mop and everything, he fights them all off with the mop. Hmm. Uh, they all, like, circle around him at one point. And then do a kick line. They start doing can And then I'll kick him at the same time. <laughs> kick him in the fucking... There's a clan... Do we, we talk about the clansman, right? <laughs> the clansman gets punched in the nuts, and then his fucking hood flies up into the air like a fucking rocket ship. Because, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> This movie's a fucking cartoon. Yep. I love it. Of course it's a cartoon. It's so best, dude. It's the greatest fucking cartoon that was a cartoon. Like, oh, wow. But, um, yeah, the the black midget, though, I think gets it the worst. And I called what happened to him, too, the second I saw what Toxie was doing. Like, mm. Toxie just sees this midget after this midget is punching him in the fucking knees and feet. Yep. And then, like, Toxie just grabs him. Fucking starts like crushing him up, and I'm like, oh, I know what's happening. But he's, I not, know. he's not punching him. No, he's, he's whacking just him. No, him up. He's whacking him in the feet with a hammer. Yeah, like yeah. hitting him with a hammer, punching him in the knees, shit like that. Yeah. But then he gets grabbed and starts getting crushed, and I'm like, oh fuck, I know what's going on. He like crushes him into a ball, and I'm like, he's gonna play basketball. Mm. He's gonna fucking play basketball because there was a whole bunch of blind people fucking shooting hoops at the beginning. So yeah. I was like, he's gonna crush him up and he's gonna shoot some hoops with him. They don't and have. He's like, after a stressful day, I like to play some b-ball. Yeah, they don't have a lot of many. They don't have many jokes <laughs> with the blind. Yeah, it was just a couple of dumb ones. Though, like, of like one dude like fucking taking a nature walk up on the roof. <laughs> Like they were having a fucking barbecue, like yeah. there's there's not as many blind jokes in this one mm. because like they don't really need to, like they don't really need to have all of the blind jokes. I think they realized that from the first one, Ooh, fucking taking pot shots at the blind. The fact that the house for the blind blew up at the in, like the first ten minutes, I feel like was their big like blind joke send off. Mm. It was like they didn't really need to do any more. They realize, like, yeah, blind people can still fucking hear, you know? One guy that got his ears ripped off apparently can't, though. Yeah, apparently talk. To- he's like, talk- apparently talks to couldn't hear him, and so they yelled at each other? <laughs> he fucking, he ripped his ears off, and he goes, Mushy mush! Not that, though! <laughs> he did not say that. <laughs> he might as well have. <laughs> Scott full Joseph Joe Star <laughs> versus the taxi driver. <laughs> Just grab him out the front of the fucking window and just fucking mush mush. The most condescending fucking way. But, um, yeah, so, uh, they basically, they, they ransack the whole fucking place. Uh, black dude with the nunchucks, like, starts whacking him, though. Mm. And then, like, they, he actually does, I feel, the most damage to Toxie. And then, like, his, his, like, uh, his watch starts to beep. And he's like, oh, um, I, I gotta go. I'm late for my p- piano lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he just jumps back in the car and then they dart off. <laughs> There's a lot of nunchucking in this movie. Yeah. We never see him again. We see some other dude in Japan with nunchucks, though. And then there's the fish chucks. Yeah, then we get the fish chucks. 
But uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. There are many one. different martial arts replicate martial, martial weapons replicated with the fish. Oh yeah, it's great. I feel like that's why they wanted to put it in Japan so they could have a lot more like, you know, cool, cool, weird, stupid, uh, tinge of hurdles bullshit. <laughs> but um, yeah, they they mentioned fish a lot in this fucking movie. Like Christ Almighty. Um, we get a bunch of the villains in uh, in the uh, in the Apocalypse Inc. Uh, fucking just hamming it up, talking about their fucking evil plot to destroy the ozone layer because they're all from because the fucking... they want so they can sell environment domes. Yeah, so they can piss off Captain Planet so he could show up and try to try to rip them apart with metal arms. <laughs> <laughs> this movie has like I feel the dumbest like environmental message. Even stupider than the first one. <laughs> but it's way more entertaining as a film. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it has some subtle little, like, pot shots at the environmental bullshit also, but, like, it does it in a way funnier way than the first one did. <laughs> like, the first one had, like, a bigger message about all that shit, but, like, this mm-hmm. one did still did it really, like, it did good justice to it. Uh, they're talking about just basically, like, fucking up the ozone layer, fucking dumping all their bullshit all over the place, uh, their plans for the next year to, like, take over Traumaville and New York, because apparently they need Traumaville to take over New York, uh, even though fucking, like, uh, what is it, um, fucking, uh, Norman Osborn took over fucking New York. And, and like, not even considering him, fucking J. Jonah became fucking mayor and also president. Yeah, J. Jonah so had... He, he didn't need to fucking take over any small towns. J. Jonah, man. Yeah. J. J. Jonah fucking took it over, and he runs a company. You know, he runs the fucking... He runs the, the newspaper. Like, Norman Osborn owns fucking Oscorp. It's like, this fucker owns Apocalypse Incorporated, which is a way cooler corporation, in my opinion. It's like, it, with all your fucking goons and shit, like, you can't fucking take over New York, really? It's like, how fucking small is your goddamn corporation? Like, is it the size of my fucking YouTube channel? Mm. Like, that's what it seems like it is, apparently. That, that's how it like, goes. Yeah, even though he's got, like, fucking 50-plus uh, goons, you know? And, like, they're all fucking driving around with him in a fucking clown car. Anyways, I digress. Yeah, all the goon, all those goons are dead, except for the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Yeah, the fucking, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the fucking, the dog, uh, the dog gimp. Bring no, you mentioned the dog, gimp. you, trust me, you mentioned the dog gimp. I wrote about the dog gimp. No, you, 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 you mentioned him, trust me. <laughs> By extension of all the rest, I mentioned the dog gimp. No, you mentioned a man who's a dog, or some kind of dog man, but there's... There's a dog man. There's, there's an, there's an 80s furry. Oh, uh, yeah. There's, uh... Like, yeah, he's not, he's one. not that gimpy, except he just has, like, the, the dog he's mouth. He's got a fucking dog face! And so he, it is. he pees on a... On a fire hydrant, while fully clothed. I don't even think that's actually him. I don't even think he had that one had a dog face. I think that dude was just a dude, but he was just attached. No, to that, that was the, that was the guy with the dog face. Trust me, because he's standing upright later. He has no leash attached to him. <laughs> like you see him fucking handling the crowd when they're all doing the protests. Yeah, it's like he has no leash on him at that point. It's like who's his fucking master at that point? Like. What? <laughs> well, you see, Master gave Dog Gimp a sock. <laughs> Dog Gimp <laughs> is free. <laughs> oh, oh, this, I, I would hate you if I didn't love that reference. Gio. What? There's so much that we haven't gotten to. I this know, movie. so much what the fuck. <laughs> we're only like fucking, like, we're only like not even like 10% in. Well, this is like the 20 minute mark of this two hour film. This is the fucking, this is scraping the goddamn surface. Okay, we haven't even fucking reached the tip of the iceberg yet. Uh, so, hey, hey, but what did the iceberg say to the Titanic? Um, You're breaking up. Just the tip. Uh, wall. So they, they have a plan to dis- to kill Toxie. Yeah, using technology? 
Well, no, they're like, okay, how do we... Japan! No, this is their thought progress. Okay, how do we deal with... How do we deal... Well, okay, he's powered by traumatons. Bullshit. Yeah. And we need the technology to destroy the traumatons so he will shrivel up and I can kill his girlfriend because I hate her for having melon-heavy breasts. They use the phrase melon-heavy breasts yeah. five times. Tit envy. That's the reason they want to fucking kill his girlfriend. <laughs> and he's going to go... Presumably he's going to revert back to Melvin. Yeah. Uh, it never happens. Even yeah. though that would have been an interesting story arc. Yeah, it would have been, would have been interesting. They, this would be, make this the Spider-Man 2 of this series if it did. <laughs> would have given Spider-Man 2 a reason to do the Spider-Man 2 thing. Well, Spider-Man 2 did. It, he, he lost his powers, remember? Yeah! But it would have, like, it would have been inspired by this, I feel. If they would have done it first. The, or Like the many other things. That they, they should have done first, such as the so, Neo fight scene. And, and, then, the and so the thought process was right. We need And how do we get rid of the traumatons? With technology. Where do we get the technology? There's a lot of technology in Japan. Let's make him go there. <laughs> Such dumb bullshit. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fucking Honda, Toyota, Mitsubishi. That's our fucking reasoning. Honda kun? <laughs> Honda, Toyota, Sony, Mitsubishi. So um, they tell him, like Panasonic. They send a spy to tell Toxie that his long lost father, um, Big Mac Junko, lives in <laughs> lives in uh, in Tokyo, Japan. So he windsurfs to Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, they don't tell him this. They're they're controlling his. Therapist who, who is a psychotic Freudian like sex maniac. She, she really wants to fuck on the, the toxic payroll Avenger. because she's on payroll from the yeah. fucking uh, from Apocalypse Inc. Like she's just basically being paid to tell him this bullshit. Payroll or and also kind of ju- to jump on his dick. Payroll or some kind of threat. Or she's just cock crazy. True. True. Either way, it's a good point. That is a good point. You'll make a good point. Yeah, I know, right? Cock crazy solves all problems. <laughs> Just, girls, if you're having a problem, just go crazy for dick. <laughs> just go cuckoo for cock. <laughs> so he windsurfs to Japan. <laughs> yeah! And just... <laughs> he fucking windsurfs and then, to Japan! And then there's just a solid chunk of time in this movie. Yeah. That is just Toxie fucking around in Tokyo. Oh god, shenanigans and in Tokyo. It, <laughs> It's all really all just, Tokyo it feels like the, the crew is like, okay, we got a lot of leftover money in the budget. You yeah. guys just want to go to Tokyo? No, I feel like this movie was an excuse to go to Tokyo. Just like Adam Sandler. Yeah. Like, it, I'm guaranteed it was just literally like, oh, we got money from the first one. Where should the next one take place? Yo, you guys want to go to Japan? Sure. Fuck yeah, let's go to Japan. <laughs> It's like, why not? Like, you have the fucking cash. After about 20, 30 minutes of him fucking around. Oh, God. Like, we're going to talk about some of the bullshit, but, like, before he leaves, uh, Claire cooks his favorite meal. Yeah. uh, Chicken a la Drano or something. Clorox. Chicken a la Clorox. He sprinkles Drano on it. It's weird. And then they fuck. Yeah. And then they have a, yeah, they have a picnic, and then they they bang a rag. He's all depressed because no one wants... No one needs a superhero no more. Yeah, he's like, well, I don't really feel fulfilled. Okay, question: anymore. Why does he f- stop feeling fulfilled and get depressed about no one needing, about having no point after an evil corporation attacks the bl- home for the blind? It might have been the th- the shit his his therapist was saying about uh, his dad. Okay. It might have been all that that really got him down. But uh, he, but was, just, like, he, he, he like doesn't get depressed him. about being not need unneeded until a. a gang attack happens and there's a need for a toxie. Yeah, but like even after that, he was like, I feel unfulfilled because like I'm not as needed as I used to be. So what? An entire armed caravan of bullshit I'm unfulfilled. jumping out of a limo came at me. Just, and while just in Japan, drop the bucket, he meets a he meets drop a, of the empty bucket. While like. in Japan, he meets a he meets a bald guy in a yellow jumpsuit with a white cape. <laughs> who's going through the same thing and then they team up. If only you met Saitama. <laughs> you know what? They would be pretty fucking effective. Then they fight a roided up Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Which would be the first episode of yeah. the anime. <laughs> God fucking damn it. 
The, so okay. after fucking around, what for actually like, happens? Though, yeah, what after fucking happens, around for twenty minutes, he interrupts mostly just like he, he just harasses people, tour groups, yeah, and like salary men and kabuki dancers, yeah. <laughs> and then there's this girl, and he's she's get, buying a ta- uh, taki tamaki. It, it, yeah, it was like a, it was Tamaki. Tamaki, that's yeah. What was she was at a and Tamaki then he stand. gets he gets she's one. She's the only one that doesn't scream when she fucking sees him. Yeah, he he goes to get one. Oh, this is pretty good. She smiles and at then him. she that woman gets attacked by by rape criminals. Yeah, the rape gang comes around. Comes and so he he goes to fight them. First, it was some crazy ass fucking like Sadako crazy bitch. Yeah, with like the fucking an aberrant Titan smile. Yeah. So first, just ripped her shirt off. He he continues to he he assaults them in his usual. Got one of them. He takes, turns one guy into a fish nose. Yeah, he he <laughs> takes one of the taki the the iron the takamaki, yeah, takamaki yeah, yeah. cookers and clamps it on his nose, <laughs> and, and then it makes his nose into look like the fish. Because <laughs> that guy's from Kansai. Yeah. That guy's from Kansai, and he really wanted some takoyaki. And then he cha- he chases another <laughs> oh, one. Look, the takoyaki. And then back. he chases someone who you refer to as Japanese Nelson. <laughs> yeah, he looked like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain that. All right. All right. I've been watching fucking Terrace House. Okay, Terrace House is about a bunch of Japanese people na, na, like, na, na, living na, na, in, na, na, a, in a house, Taurus house. together. Terrace House is like basically it's like um it's like kind of like The Bachelor. Or okay. like, um, yeah, it's kind of like The Bachelor, basically. Like the bachelor. Like they're all, yeah, we're all, they're all like just sort of like it's three guys, three girls, and like they're on, like they're living in a house, you know, for like a couple of months. Can't imagine ever anyone living in a house. Yeah, and and they all like speak Japanese. Like sometimes they'll get like outsiders. They'll get like gaijin that speak English. Okay. And uh, like every now and again, like uh, they'll get like they'll rotate out the cast and stuff. They'll like replace one guy that's like not getting like, any any attention or whatever, like, they'll replace him with another dude or something. They rotate it out, they keep it fresh, you know? But they have a cast of, um, of, like, narrators or, uh, like, judges, sort of? They they just, they're there for commentary. Like, it's just a cast of commentators. And one of them looks like Japanese Nelson. And I've watched the show with, with Nelson, and he's like, yeah, that, that dude's totally me. And, like, he's super funny. He's a, he's a funny little, like, jovial, like, Japanese dude. He's great. I love him. But, uh, that, like, this dude that gets fucking, like, owned by the Toxic Avenger and, like, turned into fucking Human Robin. Yeah, like, th- this looks one, like Japanese This is the one Nelson where I funny. call it. Like, because they, they, he chases him into a bathhouse. Yeah. And then he drops him in a tub and somehow turns the water up into boiling... And no, so, he doesn't even turn it to boiling. He just breathes on it. He like huffs and puffs, and it gets hotter because he's got no, he, But he, he does crank the. Uh, uh, there's a dial on the wall. He turns up. Yeah, yeah he does that too. But and so then he's, he's like, like he's throwing. Um, he, he throws vegetables in it. I'm like, oh, he's gonna make him into ramen. Yeah, he gets noodles. And then he gets a big plate of noodles. And the whole shit, he just actually a whole bunch of fucking noodles. And then he puts some <laughs> sauce in there. <laughs> yeah, he gets some fucking soya. <laughs> And he's like fucking Hajibashu. He speaks more Japanese than we thought he could. Yeah, like he, he goes he goes up to the fucking the rape gang and he's like, Oh Genki Deska Kena Soko Te komok. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. It's fine though, it's okay. Gio, you know I don't speak Japanos. You don't speak moon talk. I don't speak Japanos. This is fine. But like Oh, man, just, like, he fucking, he just straight up, like, fucking, like, dumps a whole bunch of noodles in there, fucking cooks him alive, Mm -hmm. and then, of course, he fucking goes onto the fucking, the loudspeaker, and he's just like, yo, who wants some soba? (laughs) Yeah. Just fucking announcing it to everybody. Just like, attention, Japan! I, 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 I have made some soba! Whoever wishes to get some some nice, like, hot, warm soba, please line up with your bowls outside of the hot spring. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then he tracks down the last one and... Yeah, the aberrant girl. What does she... What does he do to her? He, he gets her cornered in a radio station. Right! And he starts wrapping her in wires until it's just jamming fucking, like, jacks into her nose. 
and like shoving a microphone in your mouth and like an antenna up her fucking head. And, and then the, like, the radio the, announcer after his mic yeah, stops working. The host is he's like, what the fuck? And then he's like, <laughs> and then the talk speaker's like, oh yeah, this is your mic now. He's like, oh, right, cool, thank you. Yeah, he's and, like, I'm getting interference. And he just like doesn't skip a beat and just keeps fucking announcing on like on the mouth uh, on the mouth mic. It's so mm-hmm. fucking great. He's like, I'm gonna turn you into a human re- <laughs> like a, I'm gonna turn you into the first human uh receiver or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like just pure what the fuck. This movie was like off the fucking wall, man. I swear. Uh, then after he saves the girl from uh, Fish Nose and uh, Japanese Nelson rape team. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No offense, Nelson. Um, they have a picnic, of course. Of course. And uh, then she says, uh, "Oh, uh, Origato gozaimashita." Uh, thank you very much for the helping me. Um, I, I I will thank you in only way I know how. I give you Japanese salary man makeover. Well, so okay, it's, 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 it's his disguise. <laughs> yeah, so then they go like dress him up like a salary man, and then he starts talking about his his wonderful engravement on his business cards. Yeah, he gets. And a he business starts card. talking about uh, fucking murdering people with fucking chainsaws, like Patrick Bateman, while singing. <laughs> I'll sing it's hip to be square. <laughs> and talking about it. Yes. Like we're supposed to be all impressed by him. Of course. <laughs> I, I was impressed by his Japanese salary man uh, aesthetic. It was very sexy. He looked better than usual, you know? Mm. I liked his hair. His hair was my favorite part. It was. No, scratch that. I like his briefcase. Briefcase. His briefcase is the best. Briefcase is good. Briefcase was the best part. But uh, then we then we skip back to fucking uh, Traumaville. I mean, Apocalypseville. Yeah, and they're just shits going bad. And stuff's being broken. It's, there's fucking T Rexes with like laser cannons walking around. There's fucking like fucking tire armored fucking raiders. Yeah, just fucking like burning people alive with Caesar's legion. Caesar's legion. <laughs> Caesar's <laughs> legions chopping people's legs they're off and bro- raping the women and children. It's horrible. they're branding children. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's some people. The there's, there's some people in the park doing an anti-pollution protest, and then they ride Stealing off. In everyone's a horse, but They ride off in a horse carriage, and then get sh- blown up. <laughs> Stealing their Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Dakimakuras. and then they get exploded. Yes. Uh, yeah, the the ones that were protesting just fucking they die immediately. Like, and then it's like two protesters in general, and then they just get fucking run over by a bulldozer. So they go to the fish market, whack. and they meet. They find Big Mac, but it's Big Mac Bunko. Oh yeah, you want to talk about smoking crap? <sighs> no, I so want to talk about smoking yeah, yeah. Crap. That, you you can talk about it. You okay. can talk about it. I don't want to. All right, the the hippie couple yeah. is like they they're like talking about just cleaning up the fucking pollution and all that. Blah blah blah. And then a bunch of armed goons show up and tell them to take a hike. And they're like, this park is condemned. And they're like, but you can't condemn a park. And they're like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, okay. So they get onto their fucking horse-drawn carriage. And once they get on top of their horse-drawn carriage, they, like the, the dude hippie is like, like taking a big whiff. And he's like, what the hell is that smell? And it's like, oh, look, it's them over there. Like, his girlfriend's, like, pointing at a bunch of fucking, like, construction workers. Smoking Like, with crap. fucking pipes. And they're obviously supposed to be smoking crack. But they say crap, and they have a lump of brown stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, but wait a second. No, I'm I, like, crack you doesn't have a smell. I'm like, no, Gio, it's crap. <laughs> I'm like, but wait, why are they smoking shit? Who gives a shit, Gio? Is I think what I said. Gio, like, you know, it's you, don't think, try to understand this movie. I think they so easily could have said it was crack because, like, later on we find like cocaine fish. Yeah, cocaine fish. <laughs> so it's like easily you could have just said it's crack, but they were like, "Ew, let's make it. Let's make them dirty and be smoking actual feces." Like. Why? I don't know, man. So fucking dumb. Also, also, one character, one background character mentioned 
that, oh, we never used to have drug problems here in Toronto. And I'm like, what the fuck town do you live in? It's like, there are were so new? many drugs in the Are you one. new? <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. Because, like, did you fucking, did you come from goddamn fucking, like, Gotham? Did you come from fucking Springfield? I came from Gotham. <laughs> like, but Springfield fucking... has drug problems. Otto lives in Springfield. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, what's, what's that place fucking, uh, they keep talking about? Like, fucking... Shelbyville? Shelbyville, there we go. You come from fucking Shelbyville. I tell you, I won't live in a town that robs men of the right to marry their cousins. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> like, they fucking, they must have come from fucking Shelbyville, because in the first fucking movie, the guys driving the fucking toxic truck were sniffing fucking coke with themselves. <laughs> so like there were so many drug problems in the first movie. We need the drugs. Why the Let's fuck do we need all the drugs? Yeah. Like, the fuck did you come from, you dumb shit? So he came from dumb shit. Yeah, must have fucking. It came from like Stupid. Jack Fuckistan. Population dipshit. <laughs> He's nice. <laughs> He's a very nice. My name a dumb fuck. Yagi Shamesh. My name a big dumb fuck who. Ohio Gazaimashta. Son Gawa. So, anyways, uh, we go to a fish market, which is apparently where Big Mac is chilling. Yeah, and he's a, he's a, he's a Japanese man in a suit. He's a big... No, he's a, he's a gaijin, bro. He's, he's straight up white. He's a white dude. Well, he's Japanese. He's a white dude. He, he speaks Japanese... Like, he speaks a Japanese accent because he's lived there for so long. <laughs> like, he's so obviously white. He's, like, um, he's just really putting it on heavy. The but then Japanese. his spider... His tra- his traumatron sense he is evil. Yeah. And then there's cocaine in the fish. Oddly enough... First they embrace, though. But this yeah, is what well, I want to point out. Father son moment. When you smuggle cocaine in something, usually you put it in a bag. Right. They just put cocaine in the fish. No, no, it was no, 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 no. It was a little baggies. It was not. Some of it was. It little was just baggies. powder in the fish. Well, they had like little square baggies. I, I could have sworn they were in baggies. It was just, they filled the fish with actual pow cocaine. It could have been, could not have been. And then the during the fight, the, ja- the Japanese awesome. girl like tastes it, tastes it, tastes some more. Mm-hmm. Just Kate just, just starts going at the cocaine. Yeah, until she finally starts to like. like it's cocaine, out. yo! It's coke. He's smuggling cocaine in the fish. So they fight, um, which is the first time I thought I was going to say cocaine fish in months. Uh, Toxy use, uh, fights a guy with nunchucks using fish as nunchucks. Oh yeah, that's cool. Of course he does. Yeah. Uh, someone has there's a, a ninja shows up with a katana. Yeah. And then Toxy gets a swordfish and uses it like a rapier. <laughs> we get confused over what exactly is the cause of the neutralization of the traumatons. Yeah, it doesn't if happen. It's tech or fish oil. It's. it's we, I say it's fishnology. Fishnology. <laughs> Um, you know what's better than all the, than this Ferrari in my in my garage? Fishnology. And then two Kabuki guys show up. One of the bow stuff. One of the bug knock. So Toxie gets a fish, which turns out to be a hedge trimmer chainsaw, and he kills them with it. It's so what the fuck? It's unbelievable. And then there's a woman who sh- who who appears with a com- a comma and chain, and then. Toxie grabs the comma, cuts her dress open, and then they bonk her on the head of the fish. And then she gets, like, thrown into... But but before that, we cut to, there's a news reporter and a guy talking about dried fish and the match, and how it has magic powers. He's probably my to favorite, To attract honestly. women. He's talking about, like, and then, like, Sunday, it's and like, like this, this attracts... Like, no, that... This attracts the beautiful woman. This attracts a good-hearted woman. This attracts a sexy woman. And so he's like, oh, cool, and eats it. And then the... He's talking about, like, Sunai. Then the hot Japanese woman lands in... The naked woman lands in his lap. Yeah. And he's, he's like, like thank you. and he says, yeah. and he actually says, thank you, God. <laughs> yeah. And this guy's the biggest winner from the movie because he asks her something where presumably, hey, do you want to, like, fuck or do you want to go out or just in general? And she says, oh, she says, yeah. Mm. And yeah, then, all right, cool, this guy, he wins. 
It's like he's hitting on her hardcore. He and gets like the, he gets a hot ninja girlfriend. Yeah, it's cool. Like that dude's probably like the the, the legit hero of the film. And like, then he's, he's, he's then he's Big Mac there, strips he's off, hero, man. strips his clothes off, and has Yakuza tattoos and is a sumo wrestler. Yeah, but and, that that reporter guy has dedication to his fucking job, bro. Then there's the guy and who's chop. So then the guy's dedicated. chopping fish, and after the sumo fight, um. Oh yeah, there was a tranny with a fucking ball in a cup. Yeah, that wasn't important. No, she gets the ball. He gets the ball in a cup shoved up his ass. Yep. (laughs) Big Mac gets flipped onto the tuna chopping. Yeah. The the guy chopping the tuna, and he proceeds to just chop the guy into pieces, hacking and whacking and smacking. Just watching the fight going, (laughs) and just starts. No, he's not looking at the fight. He's looking at the naked, like the naked ninja girl. Oh right. just getting fondled by the reporter man. Yeah. And he's like, he's just fucking good, good, like, slapping the fucking good, shit out of the good. Good. Like, And then he cuts them all into pieces. Up fucking Big Mac. I was hoping from the beginning of this so film that gets, we were going to have ninjas and sumo wrestling. He gets, and we got both. He gets cured by the ancient sumo arts and windsurfs back to Tromaville. Yeah, fights, he has a saves his girl for, saves his girlfriend from a bunch of female assassins. Yeah, because he he kicked the traumatons yeah. up in the air out of uh, Big Mac's hands, yeah, and they land, threw him and, onto the. But fucking, he breathes the, the gas in. Yeah, yeah, but then it landed on the floor and it broke, and then he had to get purified uh, by the rights of. So he wins uh, back of Duskway. He wins back to Japan. Yeah, as I said, um, there's these female assassins who are going to kill um, his irritating girlfriend. Yeah, they're going after Claire with the Bad Bitch Club. And then... One they, of them with purple hair is really fucking hot. They kind of rape her a bit. <laughs> well, they sexually assault her a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But they, and they're then, bad girls, so like... Yeah, and then Melvin funny. shows up and kicks all their asses. Not, say, not saying girl-on-girl rape is consensual. No, of course not. Just saying. It's par for the fucking course in this film. Everything's par for the course in this film. It really is. And... Apparently the girl has the the lead girl has balls because you get kicked in them and then her voice goes up an octave. <laughs> yeah, fucking. I was like, but that that's not ha- okay. I guess she has a vagina. <laughs> and then, like noted, not everybody in this. And then Apocalypse fucking, sends in the the dark the like, black rider. Up. Apocalypse sends in the black rider. Who is a motorcyclist all in black. Who oh, yeah, this is fucking stupid. With, like, a million tons of nitroglycerin strapped to him. <laughs> and apparently, this is the least volatile nitroglycerin ever. Because he takes jumps and bumpy roads and swerves and he doesn't just explode. Also, where the fuck is it? Because it's nowhere on his bike. <laughs> it's in his helmet. Fuck you. It's in his helmet, you he opens so his he, helmet. He opens so he hides. He takes the helmet off as his head's just a stick of dynamite. <laughs> so he hi he he, he commandeers a taxi with an old Jew, with an old Jewish couple in it. Oh yeah, they're the best. <laughs> and then we get a a really I love these a frankly drawn out and eventually a little boring chase scene. <laughs> this is a crazy taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it goes yeah, a yeah, little yeah. long. He makes it into a. Um, he drives under a bus and makes it into a convertible. Mm. Day after day, your whole and life's then, a wreck. And man. then it explodes. And the powers be- that be just breathe down your neck. You get no respect, you get no relief. And then they crash into the Black you Rider. You gotta speak up and yell out your piece. They crash into the Black Rider and somehow none of them die. <laughs> yeah, it's like the fuck! The least! Fucking volatile. And then they manage. He, they kick. Uh, they kick Apocalypse out of Tromaville, and they all live happily ever after. It's um, so fucking. The fourth boring. wall is broken a few times. They talk about Toxic Adventure Part Three and One. Oh, so many fucking times. Like more, more than like thrice. Hmm. They go for it, man. They really fucking went for it in this one. They were like, "There's no fucking what fourth fucking wall." Like, it, there was there a wall there? I don't think there ever was to begin with. <laughs> and then that's Toxic Avenger Part 2, Trouble in Tokyo. Oh, they have a big celebration at the end, and uh, the real dad shows up. Yeah, with his... I forgot about that part. Cool, with his real hipster big Mac stash and his... The real Miggity Miggity Mac Daddy. But this is Big Mac Junko, and he gives him back... He's a what Mac Daddy? Miggity 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 Mac Daddy. Chris Cross! <laughs> <laughs> That's the film, I guess. What did you think of it? 
And you you you, oh, you were asking God, if it had wonderful. a. You were asking if this one had a subtitle. Yeah. I would like to award this the subtitle "Trouble in Tokyo." <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would give it the the revenge of of uh, of of. Of Doki Makara. The Revenge <laughs> of the Doki Makara. No, I would, uh, I would call it um, uh, Apocalypse How. Apocalypse Why? Apo- Nani Apocalypse. Apocalypse What? Nanocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, this needed a kaiju battle. Yeah. This needed a fucking big, fucking, big, stupid fucking No, maybe for battle. a later one where there's a... So they could make a mecha toxie. Yeah. <laughs> I hope to God the next one fucking has that. Um, next one has the devil in it. Oh, wow. It's called The Last Temptation of Toxie. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> this should have had a subtitle then, too, man. Well, no. Nah, I've decided it has trouble in Tokyo. Uh, toxie makes sushi. Toki- no, <laughs> trouble in Tokyo. Toxic Avenger, trouble in Tokyo. <laughs> the Takomaki is back. I don't know. Hey, those wheels on Toxie's baggage! Are those made of Takawaki? <laughs> I can't wait for this zombie to get off. He's fucking trying to put a mask on me. I'm not, I'm not the fucking fish dude that's protecting Big Mac! Oh, we did not talk about the fish head! <laughs> fish head man is the fucking greatest! It was an accident testing the traumatons! And it resulted in a man with a fish head who fucking, like, mines in fucking Super Sentai language. <laughs> and spits white beautiful. goo. And so he takes him to the to the, to the the fish market, <laughs> grabs a descaler, and, like, descales him and turns him into a plate of sashimi. <laughs> like, literally into a plate of fucking sushi. There are so many moments in this movie where we had to but like... But none were more what the fuck than that. What, no, what, there are many moments in this movie where we had to stop it. Like, I, I, I need a minute. <laughs> yeah, but that was fucking... That was up there. Like in, uh, in, in, <laughs> in the Land of the Dead game when we put a zombie through a door. <laughs> yeah, we just caught up and I was like, I'm fucking done. I can't right now. <laughs> like, oh man. That was fucking beautiful. Though. That was blessed. Oh man. Like, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I feel like I'm fucking missing something. Watch like the I'm movie yourself, about. guys. Yeah. I'm gonna give... Oh, he rides in the hovercraft uh, after the bike. That's yeah. what I missed, basically. I want I want a Toxic Mobile. Yeah. The Jewish couple was, was cute. They were, they were cute, adorable. yeah. The old lady, like, when she first sees Toxic Avenger, like, uh, she just... Like, like what? Holy and, shit. Holy shit! <laughs> the fucking best. <laughs> But, like, yeah, they were really cute. I love the two of them. He let it in! A barrel of waste! Toxic chemicals you ain't we his face! You nice French restaurant! Uh, uh, Chinese is too cheap. expensive! We're gonna go get Chinese, it's cheaper! Oh, some 50th anniversary! This. <laughs> we should watch this for the 50th anniversary, or at least the fifth. I don't want to have a 50th year of this, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Just like okay, if we ever get to 50, 50 years of this, okay. we're just gonna be Statler and fucking Waldorf. <laughs> we will. Can't, I can't deny that one. God damn, this was a fucking fantastic movie. What do you rate it? Rate this right now. Ten. I give this a fucking eleven. This, this one fucking, goes up to eleven. This one goes up to fucking eleven, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they, they fucking, they stepped it up. Honestly, I love this. This movie. is not so a good, good movie. It's no, it's it's great, but it's the but worst. But it is an excite. And after fucking Trial of the Incredible Hulk, Basket Case, fucking three, Trial was fine. Fucking Dragonheart four, we deserved this. Yeah, Dragonheart and Basket Case were really what made this like a fucking like an actual enjoyable experience. Anyway, next next week fucking we got something movies. we haven't had in a while. Yeah. Both an animated film and a children's film. Oh, interesting. About the power of music and how it can defeat goblins. Good lord. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going to grab my fucking bazooki. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, man. Bye. A sayonara, pussycat. Goodbye. <laughs>